Hello everyone, welcome to the second segment of the members area where I teach where I take you through how to make this form processed and how it can be submitted to our database. Now if you could recall from our previously done video where I processed the form from this request, we, we did some stuff today. So to save time, what I'm gonna do really get is um, I'm going to do some um, copying and pasting. So I will um, advise you to please um, post the video at some point where you are not clear and make sure you do the needful now for the first thing you need to do is to first edit out the form now you go to your text editor mine is sublime text if you use uh, any text editor will work so just make sure you know how to use the text editor now this is where the first form ended this is where the first form ended this is end of the first form end of uh, sorry of the first form now this is where the second form started complete now if we uh if we, if we want to do the best thing for this place now that means that any customer that wants to complain about a request not properly granted person can fill his full name or if someone is requesting for someone now the email address we might not ask that the phone number that means the customer service to be able to be able to call you then the this should be complaints or let me say uh, comments now let's change some things here let's say um, uh, okay let's say um, arrive at, let's change this to complaint complaint okay let's check that good it works oh, sorry good this has changed to uh, complete so um, that means we have changed this now the next thing we're going to do is to just like the way we did to the first one now this is where the form starts from this is form now the first thing you need to do is to add the role the role it's uh, what form the action the action you can uh, let's say we are going to use um complaints the PHP remember we have already inserted a PHP script inside this that means we have already like this, this is what I'm trying to say the first form here the action that means it can be found right inside this page which is this that we've done now to for you to have to for you to have to uh, PHP script on the page it's quite impossible and what you need to do is just make this to fetch a uh, 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 the handler the file handler that means we are going to create a new file called complaint.php but before that let's quickly finish this and the method to use is post now you can read about the tutorials about the, dif the difference between post and get now we are using post for this and uh, we need to add an id sorry id to this and we need to add a name to this as well we do the same let's copy so as to save our thing okay 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 now the id for this let's make it simple name sorry name uh, let's make this also name as well the id here it's email let's make it simple as well let's make it email the next one here is a phone let's say phone phone okay and the id here should be let's say complaint complaints am i correct plaints 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 okay, let's see okay now the same for this place too okay uh, okay complaint now next thing we are going to do it uh, to go to our database and create now sorry we need to assign a name for these two name submit good now we have done for all this now if you try to fill in anything here if you try to fill anything here you will um, notice that it's gonna do some little things but not as uh, 
it ought to be let's say Douglas email let's say key call the phone this 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 this, this. company let's say thanks for the order I click on submit now it's gonna look for you to it will show you a error for for page that means page not found why because the file handler has not been done now if you can look through this page this is error 404 that means page not found now if you could look through your web browser your address bar you will see complaint the php now what we need to do next is uh, let's back this page a little bit good now let's go straight to our database now to access your database all what you need to do is just go to your web browser click this and your php my admin now this php my admin this is where all the database are now you if you can recall that we created a, a database in our previous videos where it's a lane then we can create a new one the first one we did was orders now let's create a new one let's create a new, a new table let's give it the name called complaints complaints number of columns should be the five just like the first one we did so now this let's say user id int length is 10 auto int auto increment it now for this let's say name let's be playing with it now choose virtual email address or let's say okay let's say the length should be 100 leave this email uh, let's choose vacha as well let's choose 100 okay um phone okay let's choose um uh, i'll prefer let, let's choose vacha good because the user might enter something wrong so so that will just take it in and filter it at the end okay now this is uh, complete I'm of the idea of making the same thing, of name of uh, of um, given the, na the naming convention. I'm of the um, idea of making everything the same, just as it ought to be. Good. Now, you uh, this should be virtual. Now you, you can make this 500. Okay. And uh, once you're through, click on save. Now this is our new. Um, table inside our database this is our new table this is our new database now sorry this is our whole database this is our new table now you can check the structure the structure user id name email phone complaint now the next thing if you can recall the way we did the last one was to create a connection file but you can still make use of this connection file because we are accessing the same database and uh, this looks cool to me so the next thing we're going to do is to just to write the code by um let's say now this we need to create a new file called this now let's save it now it's going to be saved as complaint.php now this is the file handler that handles the process done now in the next video i will take you throughout the designing you're welcome back so this is the other segment where i take you throughout to design the complaint.php so I'm suggesting to save time and to uh, allow more efficiency on the work. If you can recall that we have done something related to this before on that, the regi um, on that register page. So um, I think let's go to the member.php, uh, member.php. Now let's copy all these since they look the same to how I want to design the other one too. Now paste it here. Now once you paste it, save it first. Now go to the top. Since we are using the same, this is correct. Leave this. Sorry. You are to leave this. We connection created. Okay. Now connection created. Now the next thing you need to do is to make sure that you change all these. If you could recall from our database. We have something um, different, uh, which is this um, user ID. But we are starting from here: name, email, phone, and complaint. So let's go back. Uh, name. This is what email. Am I correct? Email, yeah. 
the next one is a phone phone and the next one is complaint complaint now the same thing goes does for this name email phone and uh, complaint okay now you can uh, change this uh, the two major important part it's a uh, name sorry phone and uh, the uh, let's say complex good now so once you've done this um, okay now the table is different now the table is uh, what's the table's name complex so the table's name is complex so it's different from the way it used to be now you change this to name you change this to name as well thank you you change this to email likewise this to email as well now you change this also to um, phone likewise this to phone as well so the last one but not the least is the complaint complaint changes to complaint as well okay now let's check if there's any error here okay now let's say this changes to complaints um, successfully sent okay now the next thing um, that might need to be changed is uh, for us to you know go uh, through the form again and see if there is and if there is any error whatsoever so um yeah 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 okay 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 now let's go to the form and try it out now let's refresh this or let's log out and let's click back on members area login now let's try to fill in some things here let's see this is a uh, uh, um, Elijah uh, Elijah Morakia because that's my name and um, Kikonzo so ajimi.com uh, my phone number okay good now you can say thanks for watching this uh, sorry this video I hope to see you soon thanks one small bye submit good you can see complaint successfully set good that makes it nice now let's check our database if what we've done is correct or not now let's browse it good now you can see it's already entered in our database keycomzola.gmail.com phone number and the comments now it's as simple as that